Hello my students, how are you? I hope you are doing well. The objectives of this lesson Students will understand and talk about different ways of communication. Ask and answer about the meaning of symbols. Look at page 12 and 13 of your class book. It's unit 2. What is this unit about? It's about communication. Okay. Look at the phrase on page 13. Yes. What can you see in this phrase? Yes. It is braille. This is a symbol or a sign. This is called semaphore. This is Morse code. This is gesture. This is art rock. Okay, we will learn more about these symbols all in this unit. But this tells us that this unit is going to be about different ways of communication. Look at page 12 of your class book. Activity 1. Read and think. Before people could write, they could draw. Look at these pictures found in Oman and Jordan. What can you see in these pictures? Yes. Picture number 1. This rock art was found in the north of Oman, in Awadi in Musandam. Look at picture number two. This rock art was found in the south of Jordan, in Wadi Ram. Why do you think these pictures were drawn? Yes. It's a way of communication. They wanted to leave a message. What are different ways of communication? Yes, one of them, rock art. People used to draw pictures and tell each other stories as a way of recording their history. Gestures. We use body parts, hands, arms, fingers, head or legs to communicate what we want to say. Another way of communication is symbols. A symbol is a mark, sign or word that gives a message. Braille. Braille is a way of communication for blind people. People who can't see very well can read by using their fingers to touch a code of raised dots on the page. These dots represent the letters of the alphabet. Semaphore People send messages by holding two flags in the air in different positions. These represent the letters of the alphabet. Morse code. People send electronic messages using a special machine by tapping out a code of dots and dashes to represent the letters of the alphabet. Look at page 13 of your class book. Activity 3. Look and talk. Look at these symbols that we see around us every day. What do the symbols tell us? What does this symbol mean? It means no smoking. What does this symbol mean? It means don't turn left. What does 
this symbol mean? It means turn right. What does this symbol mean? It means disabled parking. What does this symbol mean? It means don't throw rubbish here. What does this symbol mean? It means park your car here. What does this symbol mean? It means look out, camels are crossing the road. What does this symbol mean? It means people can cross the road here. Look at your class book, page 13. Activity 4. Read and match. Read the messages below and match them to the symbols. Write your answers on the road. The first one is done for you. It's symbol number A. What does it mean? Yes. Number three. People can cross the road here. Now complete the rest of the task on your own. Have you finished? Okay, check your answers. Number B. Six. C. Four. D. Eight. E. Two. F. Five. G. One. H. Seven. With my best wishes, I'm Adil Gabir. Goodbye and good luck.